Hey now, collective, this is a timeless collective reading. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your wisdom, your guidance, your inspiration, your protection, and above all, your presence with us. So I did an initial call card pool for the theme of this reading, and I got perfectionism. Perfect, <laughs> excuse me. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It is the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prison of perfection. Okay, so uh, again, this is a general collective reading. Every once in a while, I feel called to do um, like a theme reading. Sometimes I do it on tarot cards, uh, specifically if they've been coming up a lot for the collective. And other times I do a theme reading that um, has been, you know... I don't know. I just, I pull the card and, and the spirit leads, right? So this is on perfectionism. What do you have for us, spirit? This is for the collective. What kind of guidance can you give around this theme of perfectionism, please? Can you give us some guidance and some insight? Yeah, we've got the death and the rebirth card. <coughs> Excuse me. Part of death and rebirth is about um, releasing the ego, Okay, identifying the ego, um, the what part of our personalities or part of our identities um, are not really authentic, but are put on for show like a facade. Okay, um, and this, you know, really taps into this theme of perfectionism because for perfectionism, at least out in the world, is about what other people think of you, right? Um, and internally, some of us have internalized a lot of, um, you know, you get, we get inundated from social media and, uh, you know, from our bloodlines and things like that. There's expectations and it's about releasing, okay, those expectations that are coming in from other people, from our past, through our lineage, right? We're called to kind of, you know, balance things out here. Figure out what is worthy to move forward, okay, and what is worthy to let go of. And when we do this, we thank those things because they have taught us and helped us to grow. So we do it in a spirit of gratitude, okay? And when we do this, um, once we release and start to move in the flow okay, of creativity, of divine alignment, of, um, you know, purity and light and authenticity. The universe always rewards us with divine choices because we start also attracting other folks who live in their authenticity as well. And you start to match up with people that, um, you know, uh, you know, your, your soul family or your tribe, right? Okay, so we have the hangman here. Let's see what else we've got going on. So you folks that have gone through this experience or are going through this experience, again, the divine gives us choices. We're called to balance out. These are divinely given in love. Okay, for some of us, it can be kind of triggering because, you know, we're not used to receiving so um, part of this process can be triggering, can get, we can get stuck in our heads, okay, trying to, you know, figure things out and using that same method that we lived our lives, the same standards we, we had before we went through this process, okay? And for some, for some of us, it can, get, it can get us stuck in our heads here, right? And then we start to go backwards and think, okay, well, maybe it wasn't so bad. At least I had structure. At least I knew, you know, what was going on, right? I had, I had some definite, like, base or baseline or um, foundation, okay? Because when we change up into our authenticity and start releasing the ego, we are being called to trust in the process, trust the divine, trust in the unknown, trust, um, trust our own capacity. Okay. And that can be really scary. So people tend to go back and forth here. Okay. The devil card out here is like a card of bait. Like do you, it's the seducer. It's kind of, it's an opportunity to learn lessons. 
okay? But if you're done with those lessons, you can move on, right? You can level up and move on here. Wow, I have no idea where that card went. There it is. Yeah, okay? So once you're done in that process, all right? Once you're done learning these lessons, once you have put that, understand your process here, and put the ego behind you, then we're being called to move on here. And divine, uh, what happens here for the collective as they move forward? Can you give us some insight and some guidance into, oh, 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 tons of cards just flew here. I am so sorry. So um, anyway, again, so this is part of a process. And as you start going through this process, it's like a butterfly in a cocoon. And as you start to come out of this cocoon, okay, you can waver a little bit. You can go back and forth. You can, you can really need some kind of a foundation. And that foundation should be focus, focusing in on, you know, redefining your life, letting go of what no longer serves you, figuring out what, your, what brings you true joy here. Okay, because we're going to move on from this situation. And as you're also going through this process, Again, the universe is going to bring things to light for you. You're going to have ideas, inspirations. That's to keep you going. It's like tidbits. You're tapping into that energy. Okay? And um, what do we have here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Oftentimes, we have that past coming back in. Okay? Right as we're starting to get ready to move forward. Um, a lot of times that past will come back in and will ask us again, we're moving forward. We're feeling really good. And then it crops up its head again and says, Hey, Hey, wait a minute. Wait for me. Right. This is a card of warrior hero, but very impulsive and reckless. Okay. So just know that this is part of the process. All right. Part of the process as you're moving forward. Okay is that the past will sneak in and it could be in different people. It doesn't have to be the same people. It doesn't, you know, it, it's an energy. These cards are about energies, right? So this energy comes back in and says, hey, wait a minute, you forgot about me, okay? And what we're called to do in this instance is remind ourselves that we're building on a solid foundation here, okay? Right? That if you're doing the work, if you're doing the spiritual work, the emotional work, your development, okay, if you are finding what brings you passion and you start to study that and you start to take time out of your day, spending time learning that craft, honing your skills, okay, that builds a solid foundation from which to build on. All right. It's, it's an integral part of the process. And to be honest with you, it's like lifelong learning. Once you kind of find you know, what, what your gifts are, what you like to do, then it just, it becomes really fun. You start to learn and you start to grow and you start to meet people that are doing the same things or that appreciate the value that you're bringing. Okay. It's a very solid foundation. All right. So we have the judgment card and usually at this point, okay, the universe will call in justice here. Okay, especially if you're kind of teetering back and forth, um, judgment, excuse me, all right? And it's, it's, it's almost like a graduation ceremony, okay? Have you learned the lessons? This is going to come back up for you, at least in energy format, as you clear out residual energy, either, either within your own mindset or actively around people or energies that are surrounding you. And the universe is going to say to you, okay, it's time to really move on. Like you've been playing around over here. You've been doing really good work. You're building and whatever, but you still have some of this stuff around you and the universe will call judgment out. And at this point in time, if you have people or situations that are plaguing you, for lack of a better way to say it, okay, the universe will call judgment on that situation and, and you will get spiritual intervention, as long as you're doing the work, as long as you're aligning with the divine and you are on your soul path here, the universe will start to help to clear this stuff out. 
if it's something that's out of your control. And I mean, what I mean by that is, um, you're setting the boundaries, you're doing it in a graceful, mature way. Um, you've stopped engaging, you know, there are people out there that are like stalkers and, you know, all kinds of, you know, things like that, even if it's just on social media or whatever, right? The universe is going to call judgment out and it's going to, and that is to give them an opportunity because they have been watching you grow. So they've seen somebody do it and the judgment card comes in and says, okay, now it's your turn. Okay. Um, for a lot of folks, uh, the next thing that happens here is the unification of the divine masculine and the divine feminine within yourself. As you're moving forward here, okay, you will balance your divine masculine and your divine feminine. And this really should be happening before you're calling other people into your life. Now, I see there's the lovers, right? But in this setting, it's about you balancing out your divine feminine and your divine masculine, okay? You also tame the lion here through strength. You gain strength through this process, and this is about taming our emotions, okay? Like anger and, and um, you know, it's about learning how to be calm. It's, it's about self-regulation. I'm sorry, that's the word I was looking for. This card is about self-regulation. And by doing this process and gaining mastery and self-regulation, okay, you receive strength. Now, that doesn't mean denying your emotions. That's not what I want to say at all, okay? It's about processing and working through whatever you that is for you, like shadow work type stuff, to the point where the way you are self-talking and going out into the world comes from a point of maturity. 